What is going on, you guys? Happy Saturday to everybody. Hope everyone's enjoying their days off. If you're working, hey, get that dough, man. Get that dough. Today, we will be breaking our first collector booster of the day. Uh, the draft booster yesterday were super hot. If you were in the breaks or if you see in the comments, the two draft boosters, we pulled 19 Mythics total just in the two draft boosters. So today we're gonna we got lined up a draft booster and a collector booster. Also, because I'm terrible with memorizing the Japanese cards, like which ones they are compared to the art, I have my coworker Richie here, who's a uh, fellow commander player and also personally loves the Strixhaven set. So he will be helping me out with the Japanese cards. Howdy. And that's Richie. So let me go on ahead. And start getting everybody tagged in here. If you, can see, if you can hear everything, you see the boxes in front of you. Um, just let me know while I'm doing this. So that uh, we can get to cracking. I am excited. It's going to be a pretty, pretty sweet little break. My first bit of Japanese cards. From a collector booster at least. Alright, come on now. There we go. Y'all know how computer likes to be sometimes. All right, got Koi in there. Paulo, got you in here. Or Jose, let's see, Dylan. Martin, got you. Uh, Clem, I remember, I remember. Spencer Fisher. And then, last but not least, we got Stephen Martin. Got a lot of Martins in the uh, in the room and breaks today. Richie's last name is also Martin. <laughs> he says y'all stole his last name. That's what it was. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get over to our uh, our giveaway. Our giveaway. Our randomizer. Ooh, nope. We don't like those those numbers right there. Let's get all right, we'll take a five. Five's a decent number. Alright. Getting through. Randomizing. Last round. And boom. So this is the order of you guys' stacks. Or what stacks you'll actually be in. Oh, there you go. Let's see. Let me get this link copied for you guys. Copy the link. Paste. And boom. All right. So right there in the link or in the comments is the link to check out the randomizer. If you want to see how your names were randomized. So that's you guys. Um, let's go ahead and get the party started, right? Where's my skizzers at? Skizzers over here. Alright, we're gonna start by cracking open this draft booster box, getting it all mixed up and stuff, and sort it into you guys' stacks. Each of you will get three draft booster packs and one collector booster. Richie's about to experience the uh, mess that I make in here. <laughs> Wrappers go everywhere. in here hiding from me. Alright, so a quick little little mix up. So we got three for spot one, two, three. Move that back a little bit. Spot four. Five. And six. Moving on to seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Right there. All right. Now for the collector booster. Wrap 
wrappers. Thick right there. Remember them Zendikar Ryzen ones just like fell apart. And they had expedition packs in them. All right, so I'm just gonna randomly drop these into you guys' piles. And boom. That's how the party gets started. All right, so there's a few of you guys watching, so you guys already see how your names are, or what order your names are in. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get to cracking some packs. If you're watching this and you didn't get in on it, like I said in the post at 12.30, I do have another one dropping at 12.30. All right, we start out with Clem or Sutherland. Whichever you, however you want to be called, man. I have no problems with it. All right, just like always, we're gonna go ahead and get through the regular boosters or draft slash set boosters, whichever one we do those days. And then we hit the collector booster last. So, let's get started. All right, also as always, we just skip through the commons Unless you want me to go through your commons, then I'll go ahead and go through them for you. But other than that, just skip through the commons. We hit the uncommons, rares, mythics, tokens, so on and so forth. So, like I said, if you want me to slow down and go through the commons, just let me know. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and get to the good stuff. Starting out with a reduced to memory, honor troll, Zamone Quandrix Prodigy, and the first rare of the day is a culmination of studies. I just love the art to this thing. The art to it's just pretty sweet. Agonizing remorse. And a spirit token. Moving on to the second pack. I know some of y'all gotta be on lunch if you're working. Gotta be. It's a little quiet in here for a Saturday. I gotta pump me up so I feel it. So I feel the stacks. Packs, Secret Rendezvous, Quandrix Cultivator, love that card, Zephyr Boots, and then a Valentine Dean of the Vein, and then, uh, what's her name, Lizette Dean of the Root, there we go. First Rare Archive, Electrolyze, deals two damage divided as you choose among one or two targets and draw a card for three. Foil Dueling Coach, and an Inkling. Pack three. All right. Have not hit a mythic in the first stack just yet. Those are still possibilities. Got a wormhole serpent, fortifying drought, a spell satchel, and then a shale dean of radiance, Ambrose dean of shadow. And then an adventurous impulse. Y'all already know it. I love that card. And our first arena out of the day. We got it late yesterday. It was like stack eight, stack nine. We got our first arena token card. It was like usually it's like three a stack. All right. First collector's pack of the day. I'm going to go through all of these just so you guys know. I'm going to try and get the best angle on it I can so it's visible. We're going to start out with a Spectacle Mage, Combat Professor, Stone Rise Spirit, Biblioplex Assistant, Big Play, and into the Uncommons, we got a Bookworm, a Golden Ratio, First Foil Rare is a Basic Conjuration. The Lesson. Then... Second foil rail, rare, Shale Dean of Radiance and Ambrose Dean of Shadow. That's pretty sweet. Let me check out that back real quick. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. Then we have a Curiosity Crafter. Oh, yeah. First borderless card. And then we got a Cody. <laughs> Vociferous Codex. We seen a video the other day of him doing work in brawl and arena oh yeah so that's that's actually pretty sweet the card in general looks good 
And then our first Japanese archive card of the day you is... You got a negate. A negate. Counter target non-creature spell for two yep. at instant speed. See, I can I can remember these. And then a crux of fate. What? That thing is sick. Destroy all dragon creatures or destroy all non-dragon creatures. Wow, that's such a sweet card. That's awesome. Oh. Oh yeah, there we go. A whirlwind denial. Japanese alt art. Whirlwind Denial. And that is the one that... Uh, counters all spells or abilities unless your opponent pays four for each one. Well, that's my dude right there. Hey! Oh, <laughs> then a Time Warp. Take an extra turn after this one. Wow. That's, that's a pretty. beauty. Looks like uh, Katara from Avatar The Last Airbender. I told y'all, this is one of my favorite tokens right here. That elemental token is sweet. That is dope. And then on the back, it's an inkling. That's a pretty cool token, too. All right. First stack, hitting a mythic. In the archive spot. Japanese archive at that. Yeah. Looks good. And Crux of Fate. Wow. Good stack. Good stack. All right. Yeah, I'm kind of short, so I got to stand up to reach over here. Uh, all right. Just like first stack, draft packs or collector packs last. So stack two, going out to Koi. Koi, yay! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Koi, Richie said he's claiming all your square ups. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Skipping through your commons, Koi. You've got Ten the Pests, Umbral Juke, oh, Ether Helix. First rare here is Plarg Dean of Chaos. Richie loves this card. It's a pretty sweet card, if I it is pretty fun. do say so myself. Hey, look, a Whirlwind Denial. Foil Professor of Zumancy and an Arena Ad. Zumancy. All right, pack number two. And there's five of y'all watching and not, none of y'all talking. Come on now, guys. Help me out. Keep me entertained. I put up a whole nother magic break for today, too. Wormhole Serpent. Palm Monitor. And a Fortifying Drought. And then a Damagoth Titan. This card's actually pretty sweet. Seen it in the, um, that Golgari Pest deck. Because you can sit there and sacrifice oh, yeah. the pest. Oh, yeah. Super sweet. Hey, that's pretty. A sign in blood. Obvious. That's kind of an obvious thing is what he's doing. And then a treasure token. Gotta love it when you get those really good draft booster packs. Because Kaldheim kind of, uh, Kaldheim's draft boosters were uh, pretty poopy. Yeah, but nothing, nothing like the set boosters. The set boosters rocked it. And then, like, Strixhaven, it's like they fix that. Skipping through the commons, which is sweet because I got a call time collect or draft booster and I was not happy with it. Mm -hmm. And then opening all the set boosters, I was like, yo, these guys are getting sick. Yo, what's up, Steven? Glad you're able to buy in, man. Reduce to memory. Return pass caller. Solve the equation. And then an Augmenter Pugilist and Echoing Equation. As long as you control, oh yeah, I guess plus five, plus five, you control eight or more lands. That seems like a decent card. Koi, quit texting me, I'm doing the break. <laughs> <laughs> Revitalize and a Pest Token. <laughs> All right. All right, Koi, your first collector's pack of the day. It's probably going to get like whatever the most expensive card is. <laughs> Blood Age General. 
That's actually a pretty cool card to play with. I played, uh, I did a Boros Spirits deck for draft on Arena. That was pretty fun. Quandrix Pledge Mage, Soothsayer Adept, the Bayou Groff, looks like just an oversized Swamp Dog, Leech Fanatic, and into the Uncommons, we got a Tenured Inkcaster, a Rip Apart, that's a super sweet card. Yeah, that's really cool. And then an Elemental Summoning, create a 4 4 blue and red elemental creature token. These, this card's actually really, also really fun in draft. If you get like quite a bit of these, you know, like towards the end when you don't really have much options, pick these up if you're playing blue or red, because they come in handy. Oh, I like that. Draconic Intervention. Y'all already know how I feel about this card. It's pretty good. It's pretty freaking good. Oh, I love that card. Dig Sight Engineer. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, you may pay two. If you do, create a zero zero colorless construct artifact creature token with this creature gets plus one plus one for each artifact you control. I won a game last night with that card. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. The Biblioplex. We're gonna read this one because I forgot to read it yesterday. Look at the top. Pay two and tap. Look at the top card of your library. If it's an instant or sorcery card, you may reveal it and put it into your hand. If you don't put the card into your hand, you may put it into your graveyard. Activate only if you have exactly zero or seven cards in hand. That's kind of odd, but I can see why it's in control decks. And then a shock. Yes. Your one drop. Two damage to two, any target. Two damage to any target, that's correct. Instant, right? Yes. That's right. Ooh. Swords to plowshares. I actually really like this one. I don't know why I just leave that up, because it's an uncommon non-foil. However, that's cool. We got a Swords to Plowshares Archive. I am a big fan of this art. This was one of the first few cards that they showed. Yeah. And I immediately was just like, I love it. And then a Foil Eliminate. We'll take that too. We're going to need a lot more sleeves if I just keep sleeving everything. Ooh. Ooh, a Foil Grape Shot. Wow. We pulled a Foil English Archive Grape Shot the other day. So that's sweet. Now we got the Japanese Alt Art. Foil grape shot. That looks really good. That looks good. And then ending it all with a fractal inkling token. All right. That was a uh, pretty cool little collector pack. And then just getting to read the cards. That's one of the good things. The plus is to doing these breaks. You just start reading some of the cards that you're coming across and find out that it's pretty sweet. But yeah, the foil grape shot right there, bro. Draconic inter intervention. That's pretty sweet. Oh yeah. Foil Japanese grape shot. Sick. Alright. Moving on. Stack three. Going out to Dylan. Dylan, I believe this is your first break with me. I don't know about overall, but at least with me. So, welcome. Unless you're just changing your name on Facebook. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, Dylan, I don't know if you were in here earlier. Um, I skipped through the comments. Unless you want me to go through them, then you just let me know. Um, I mainly just hit up the rares and mythic rares, regular rares, and uncommons. And then in the collector's pack, I do everything. But if you want me to go through your actual comments, just let me know. I do not mind at all. Academic Dispute. Maelstrom Muse. And Bookworm, your first rare. I'm pretty sure you're just new to breaks. Gotta be. Ecological Appreciation. Your first pack having a mythic for your first stack of the day. And then a sword's right behind it. This is a pretty solid booster pack right here. Pretty solid booster pack. And an arena ad. Alright, pack number two. That first pack was pretty sick. A mythic and a, a swords. Yeah. I'd say that's pretty good. You know, everybody, no matter what type of white deck you're playing, you got to have a swords to plow shares in there. It's like a must card. It's like having lands. You have to have it. Alright. Skipping through these comments. We've got an explosive welcome, an expressive iteration, mercurial transformation, second rare, a sparring regimen, or well, second pack rare, 
And then a strategic planning right behind it. I love the art to this card. It's sick. Elemental Masterpiece and a Spirit Token. Um, I'll show you real quick. I'm grabbing from that back stack, as you guys can see. I'll put that back over here. This is... These are your hits real quick. Got a Crux of Fate in there. That was a pretty sick hit. Borderless Cody, Curiosity Crafter, Foil Shale, and a Basic Conjuration, Non-Foil Shale, Electrolyze, Valentine, and Culmination of Studies. But that's what you got. Alright, moving on to your third pack, Dylan. You've got to get these commons out the way. I'm just kidding. Test of Talents, super fun card. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that that's your your Japanese time warp. Yep. Yeah. It's very pretty. It's beautiful. Test of Talents. Mortality Spear. Reflective Golem and a double major. I don't think I've pulled this one yet. Two drop Simic instant. Uh, copy target spell you control except it isn't legendary if the spell is legendary. Yeah, it's it's a really wow. neat one. What? <laughs> that is sick. And a snakeskin veil. I don't know why they didn't just call it blossoming defense. Basically the same thing. If not the same exact thing. But it's still sweet and an elemental token. So you can run both. Yep. Snakeskin veils and blossoming defense and mono green. Plus there's the other cards that give... It's just green cards that give creatures hexproof. It's like, what? <laughs> All right. We got a Relic Sloth, Pilgrim of the Ages, Bur <laughs> Bury, <laughs> Bury in the Books, <laughs> Arrogant Poet, Witherbloom Campus, and Into Your Uncommons, an Academic Dispute. Here, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Yes, Ether Helix, and Inkling Summoning. So sorry about that lesson. A devastating mastery for your first foil rare in the collector pack. Followed by a borderless angel of the ruins. I haven't even seen this one yet. That's beautiful. Seven drop flying whenever an ETB is exiled to two target artifacts or enchantments. And then plane cycling for two. Oh, that's cool. That's it's commander. That's why I haven't seen it yeah. yet. <laughs> I do play Commander, but I'm not, like, dedicated to learning, like, knowing everything. So, uh, some of these cards I just haven't seen yet. Accomplished Alchemist. We'll take that. A Defiant Strike. I love the art to that, too. Ooh, a Day of Judgment. There we go. And that does... Uh, destroy all creatures. There we go. Uh, sorcery Speed? Yeah. Hey, a foil shock. Ain't that sweet? I'm a, I'm a sleeve it up, but ooh, that's pretty. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot that that's where it was. The borderless foil, vine glimmer snarl for your borderless foil rare. That was a exciting little collector's pack too, though. Yeah. That had a lot of good stuff. Spirit treasure token. Those treasure tokens look sick. Yeah, they're pretty sick. So sweet. Uh, my arms are like three inches long. This, this was this was beautiful. That was a pretty cool little collector's pack. The ecological appreciation source of postures, though first pack. All right, stack four. Yeah, Spencer, I'm glad too. We had to make sure our computer was right. Everything was good and set up. We got the new backdrops, the new mats. Guild of the Iron Lion mats. How sick are these, you guys? They are pretty awesome. All right, stack four. Hey, Spencer. What a time to pop in right here, bud. 
Sweet. All right. Let's get to cracking these packs. Yep, I've even got, like I said, I even put up on another one that's dropping in about four minutes on the Facebook page for people that didn't get into it or even if you wanted to get more spots. Skipping through your comments, Spencer, you know, you know how I, how I do it. If you want me to go through the comments, just let me know. Tenured Inkcaster, Prismari Apprentice, Containment Breach, one of my personal favorite cards. I think it's really good. And then your first rare, oh, my favorite Elder Dragon, Velomachus Lorehold. Y'all been hearing me say it, just got control. That is awesome. First Elder Dragon. I got you, Spencer. Thrill of Possibility, Foil Arcway Commons, and a Pest Token. All right. Keep it going. Skip in the comments. We've got Secret Rendezvous, a Hall Monitor, Quandrix Cultivator, another Mythic, second pack, Crackle with Power, XXX, two red sorcery. Crackle with Power deals five times X damage to each of up to X targets. Oh, that is amazing. Thrasios Kedis? Yeah. I'm working on, me and Richie are working on a Thrasios and Kedis deck. And if you don't know what Kedis does, it's awesome. It's the lizard from Commander Legends that when a commander you control deals combat damage to a player, it deals that much damage to each other player. And then just making him or Thrasios big and just going ham and just smacking everybody. A Duress... Foil, Owl, and Shield Mage, and an Elemental token. Sick pack two, man. Sick pack two. Alright. Pack three. I got told I've got some Time Spiral on the way, you guys. That's just a little sneak peek. Oh, there we go. Got a Rare Lesson. Academic Probation. Sweet whenever they... Actually, our rares in the lesson spot. It's just like extra rares in a draft pack, you know. Zimone Quadrix Prodigy, Clever Lumamancer, Ether Helix, and then a Rushed Rebirth. I also like this. Card. I like that card a lot. That this card's card really pretty sweet. Fun. Yeah. I keep saying it. Weather the storm. Some dude used this on me in a draft, like late, like it was like late in the game, and he kept refilling his hand and casting spells, and he gained like. I think it was like 15 life off of it. I was like, Jesus, dude. He's like, oops. What, did you forget you had other spells to cast too? <laughs> Fractal token. Forgot it's not two-sided. All right. All right, Spencer, we're on your first collector's pack. Only collector's pack, correction. May you hit everything you want. I'm just going to do a quick shout out to Ryan over at uh, the Iron Lion store. This is his card. He would probably be crying for this <laughs> card right now. However, you can't blame him because it is a very good card for the simple fact a deck can have any number of cards named Dragon's Approach. It's That's pretty cool. Yeah. So what a way to open that pack. That was cool. Cram Session. I'm seeing this one used often too. A Curate. Silver Quill Campus. Tangle Trap, into our Uncommons, we got an Ardent Dust Speaker, an Eye Twitch, like keep y'all's Eye Twitches, those are good cards. Pest Summoning, also another really good lesson right there. First Foil Rare is a Flame Scroll Celebrant, Revel in Silence, your creature or instant, whichever one you want to do. Then you got your Sequence Engine, I haven't seen this one, oh it's a Trader card, X and Tap. Exile target creature card with mana value X from a graveyard created 0-0. Zero, zero. Green and blue fractal creature token. Put X plus 1 counters on it. Activate only as a sorcery. I also don't remember seeing that one. It's interesting. Yeah. 
teachings of the archaics, we all already know you're playing blue and you have, you know... Divide by zero. Yeah. Any kind of, like, learn ability cards, you're running teachings of archaics because that's... Why not refill your hand, you know? A shock. Ooh. Ooh, a stone rain. Destroy target land for three at sorcery speed. Yeah. I, I, I love this card so much. I think it's so <laughs> sick. I'm like, I wish they would have brought it in standard. A foil cultivate. Now that is a beauty right there. That thing looks good. Ooh, and then a mana type. There you go. What's that, the counter target spell? spell? Unless they pay one. Oh, yeah. That that white counter spell? That's nice. The art's pretty sweet for it, it too. Pretty cool. I, I love how they got the chains going. Like, yeah. tax. Oh, yeah. There we go. Spirit token. <laughs> and treasure token. I know. That treasure token does look really good, though. It does. It looks sweet. They kind of look like the shards. Yeah. For Nico. All right. Quick scroll back through. Pretty sweet mana tithe and foil cultivate, your stone rain, teachings, weather the storm, rush rebirth, cracker, crackle, cracker, Jesus Christ, crackle with power, and Valamachus Lorehold. This was a uh, pretty gnarly stack, Spencer. Pretty gnarly stack. That was sick. All right, moving on. Moving on to Jesus Lord. Four, five, or I mean five, six, and seven to Koi. <laughs> yeah. Five, six, seven. That right, Koi. Man, and y'all's names were randomized. It's so cool whenever we do the mega stacks. Look at that. Look at that. That's quite the stack. That is quite a stack, indeed. And then we put the collector's boosters on the bottom. All right. So we're just going to work our way up. <laughs> Let's get it, Koi. All right, you guys. The 1230 post has dropped. So if you want second chance to get in there, get in there. I only drop these when I see how... How many, I uh, see how all you guys like missing it and stuff. I, I want you guys all to be able to jump in here. All right, skipping through the comments. We've got an Ardent Dust Speaker, Symmetry Sage, Quintorius Field Historian. That's actually a pretty sick photo. And your first rare is an Uvilda, Dean of Perfection. What's her name? Dean, Dean of Ex Expression, yeah. Nasari. I can't remember her name. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, Growth Spiral is, is a pretty cool card to me from this set because I opened up, the first thing I opened up was a Japanese set booster and I had opened up Growth Spiral. But like I said, I'm terrible with remembering what pictures go with what cards. And at the time, I also didn't know Growth Spiral was in the Japanese, you know, or it was in the archives. I so I looked at it and all I seen was like a short sentence and then I seen the blue and green. I was like, oh, hey, cool, look, a Growth Spiral. And... Lo and behold, it, it was an actual gross bar. So, and this... It was pretty funny. It, it's a uh, pretty sweet card. I love it. And a fractal token. Those are pretty sweet tokens, too. Y'all know what tokens are hard to come by? Is those uh, those Rakdos avatars. The, what are the 3-6 ones? Yeah, the 3-6. From... Those are hard to come by. We opened up, I think, one yesterday in two draft booster boxes. So keep an eye out on those. If y'all got those avatar tokens, hold on to them. Share them with your friends, if, if anything. For real, because they are not easy to find. Practical Research, Detention Vortex, Brackish Trudge, and a Prismari Command. Koi, you about to have every card in the set, dude. <laughs> like, play sets of every card in the set. Agonizing Remorse, Foil Mage Duel. What hey. in the world? I don't know what it is about that. I somehow, I do it randomly. It's just wild. Yesterday, I called, like, three of the Pokemon cards. <laughs> like, it was insane. The day before, I called the Tyranitar V, and it was first pack Tyranitar V. Sick. Koi, hold on to that. It's Don't you lose thing. that. It is a good thing. <laughs> I'm actually going to put that with the uncommons. 
because it may just be rare. The Koi was witness to it. Koi, I don't know. Did you see? Did you watch your Pokemon break yesterday? Your first pack, I got you in Polion V. Ridiculous. <laughs> just ridiculous. All right, let's get Koi some uh, some lilies. Right, a lily, maybe a elder dragon. Demonic Tutor, Japanese alt art. I watched yeah. someone open one last night. It's very pretty. Plum the Forbidden, Killian Ink Duelist, and Damogoth Woe Eater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't I just say one of the Elder Dragons? Yeah. All right. What? All right, Koi. Well, you have a pretty sweet full art Empoleon V at the shop waiting for you to pick up. On top of this, this thing is sweet. Velomachus Lorehold Borderless. Wow. That was really good. Defiant Strike and an Elemental Token. I told y'all, Koi, Koi's got luck. Somehow. It's because he's such a humble dude. Alright. Skipping through the commons. We got a Go Blank, Mascot Interception, Fracture, I love, love this card, it's so good. Destroy Target Artifact, the fact that it's Artifact, Enchantment, or Planeswalker. For two mana, oh yeah. Peace out, Shark Typhoon. <laughs> Selfless Glyph Weaver, with a Deadly Vanity in the back. Then your Archive card, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's a Deadly, or Deadly, Dark Ritual. Good lord, I'm reading the other card as I'm sleeping it. Dark Ritual, your one drop instant, or one swamp instant. You get three swamps. It's a very help, like helpful card, especially if you use it on your opponent's end step on turn one. Super fun card. Or you just use it on your turn to drop Soul Ring and just drop all your mana rocks. Have some fun. Blink Flippy card. First one of the day. I, I know what they're actually called, Richie. <laughs> but we call them blank flippy cards in the breaks. Right. <laughs> I can get behind that. Yeah, Ryan heard it in a break one day, and he's like, you know, that's not what it's called. And I'm like, that's what, I, that's what we call it in the break. We all call it blank flippy cards. Hey! And here's card. Richie's favorite card. I love that card so much. Square up. All right, just had to announce that one. Skipping through the rest of the comments. Although there's probably like dragons approaches that I've missed. Let's <laughs> bet Ryan doesn't know. Decisive denial. Dina Soul Steeper. Divide by zero. Love it. And a Leonin Light Scribe. He's pretty good. He's pretty decent. I was talking about him. Yeah. Koi. <laughs> <laughs> a Mizix Mastery. I was talking about that Leonin Light Scribe yesterday, talking about how white weenies can be rebuilt. Mizzix Mastery, though, dude. I love that card so much. Such a good card. Foil Expressive Iteration and an Arena ad. Alright, Koi, this is pretty much just, like, all you. <laughs> Alright. Skipping through the comments. Thunderous Orator. Reconstruct History. Show of Confidence, and a Blade Historian. Koi, I don't know if you're interested in playing that Boros deck, but the Boros Winota deck, it's pretty wild, but it's boring. It's <laughs> super boring. It's like 10 different cards and then lands, and that's it. Negate, pretty sick. I like that one, and the Treasure Token. Moving on. Alright, skipping through the commons. You got an emergent sequence. A lot of people are starting to use this one now too. It's not it's not a bad card. It just kind of sucks with all the removal that's out there. It's just people are like, cool, two drop, man, come on to my lands an elemental creature. Then I'm like, cool, my turn. Eliminate. <laughs> there goes your land and a creature. So that's where it's kind of hurting. Creative outburst. And Snow Day, followed by a Shine Shadow Snarl. 
Got your first, I think that was the first duel we ever did? Nope. We had got the Vine Glimmer Snarl. The all uh, borderless foil. Yep. Got a Duress. It's a pretty card. Blank flippy card. Alright, next pack. Y'all are pumping me up in here. <laughs> it's okay, Rick Richie's helping me out, keeping me company. And helping me out with this. So like I said, Japanese cards. Don't remember. Emergent sequence. Lore hold apprentice. Another snow day and an Efreet Flame Painter. When it deals combat damage to a player, you may cast target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that spell would be put into your graveyard, exile it instead. What? I haven't seen that one. I'm going to be completely honest. And it's got double strike. That's not bad. The only downside is it's a 1-4, but still, like, if that's the... If you, like, board wipe, get him, get this out, he might be good. That's a pretty cool card. I like the ability. Don't like the attack so much. Or strength, whatever you want to call it. Cultivate. And an arena ad. All right, moving on. We are almost to three in a row collector packs for Koi. Almost there. Bang. Skipping through the commons. Devouring Tendrils, Team Pennant, Creative Outburst, and a Fervent Mastery. Five drop. Oh, yep. Got this one. We got a Shock, a Foil Tempted by the Orique, and another Fractal Token. All right. First collection pack for you, Koi. Or this stack, at least. This is tech. This is technically uh, stack seven. All right, first day of class. Ogyar Battle Seer, Prismari Pledge Mage, Reject, Essence Infusion, Mentor's Guidance for the uncommon Shade Wing Lorate. Introduction to Annihilation. This is also a pretty sweet card. I don't mind exiling a non-land permanent of my opponents and letting them draw a card. Especially if they're like top decking already. Yeah. Um, then we got Fervent Mastery for the first foil rare. We just got that, but there you go. Dika Fractal Theorist. Whenever you cast or copy it, cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, create a frac zero zero fractal, put X plus one counters on it where X is that spell's mana value. That's cool. It's kinda like a shark typhoon. But for fractals. Yeah. And instead of an enchantment, it's a creature. Yeah. Fury Calm Snarl at Borderless. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, a village rights. There you go. That one looks really good. I haven't seen that. Village rights, that's the one you sack a creature to yep. draw a card. Yep. A D Spark. I love this card. This was from what uh, War of the Spark. Yep. Yep. That's a good set. That was a that was one of my faves. Ooh, a strategic planning. There we go. Strategic planning is this the draw? So you look at the top three cards of your library, you put one in your hand and the rest in your graveyard. And it's yep. a sorcery. And then borderless foil or or reek lore mage. I meant to sleeve this up. <laughs> and then a borderless foil or reek lore mage in the first pack. And then another elemental token. With a pest on the back. The purple actually looks pretty cool in there. Yeah, it I does. Like it. But nothing beats that elemental token. That thing's sweet. All right. Second collector's pack. Eager first year. Pop quiz. Defend the campus. Silver quill campus. Scurrid colony. And then into your uncommons, we got a kelp guide, a humiliate, start from scratch, and then we have a wither bloom command. Fun card, another command for you. First borderless card is a replication technique. 
five drop sorcery with demonstrate. Um, create a token that's a copy of target permanent you control. Oh, you can target land with that. I didn't even think about that. That's wild. Torrent Sculptor, Borderless, which is sweet because it's also got another side to it. Flamethrower Sonata. So that's pretty sweet. We got a thrill of possibility in here. Ooh, a Tendrils of Agony. Love the art on that one. It's a storm card and its target player loses two life and you gain two life. Boom. There you go. Now foil defiant strike. Isn't that pretty? I told y'all earlier I like the uh the art on this card. And then a foil weather the storm. What a pack. What a pack. Just keeping them foils coming. I mean that wasn't a foil spot, but still awesome. Spirit token, pest token. Last collector's pack and last uh pack of the day for you, Koi. You got a lot of stuff to pick up. All right. We got a Guiding Voice, Silver Quill Pledge Mage, and Arcane Subtraction, Mage Hunter's Onslaught, Quandrix Campus, and then into the Uncommons, we got a Dueling Coach, Zamone, Quandrix Prodigy, Necrotic Fumes, and your first foil rare is a Sparring Regimen, Enchantment, what an ETBs you learn. Whenever you attack, put a plus one counter on target attacking creature and untap it. That's actually pretty sweet. I didn't realize it was an enchantment, actually. That's pretty good. We got a borderless re in reinterpret. Four drop instant. Counter target spell, you may cast a spell with an equal or lesser mana value from your hand without paying its mana cost. That one's a fun one. That's a oh, there we go. Another mythic, Jodzi Oracle of Arcavios. And then on the other side, we've got Journey to the Oracle. Give me a second. Grab more sleeves real quick. Give me a good stretch real quick. <clears throat> Bye, Felicia. All right. Cool, cool. Now we can go back to what we were doing. We got a village rights right behind it. Ooh, an electrolyze. Electrolyze, yep. That's the one. That's one of the ones we got earlier. I'm trying to get these stacks all like together. How you going? Erwer. That is a pretty sick art. Yeah, really I'm cool. a big Jeskai person, and this looks like it's just a straight Jeskai photo. Like art, not photo. Ooh, and then an opt. The Japanese alt art opt. Oh, that's pretty. And then a lightning bolt foil in the archive spot. That is a sick card. They killed it with these arts. All the people that, all the artists for these cards, y'all killed it. They all look sick. And then an elemental treasure token. The two best looking tokens so far. I mean, that, like I said, that avatar looks pretty sweet too. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on. I'm going to put all of your stuff right here. Jeez. Sheesh. <laughs> Real quick go through of them. Just a quick glance. It's just a huge handful. Some pretty sick cards in here. Oh, yeah. That D Spark is sweet. Probably one of my favorites. The Freet was pretty cool. Blade Historian, Mizzix, Mastery, can't forget about that. Dark Ritual was sweet. Veil of Machus, when I called it. Growth Spiral was pretty sweet. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty huge stack over here, Koi. All right. Have fun, Koi. Do you, bro. <laughs> I mean, you'll also see them later when you pick them up from the shop, so. Stack eight, going over to Jose. All right, let's keep it going. Put the collector pack on the bottom. 
Let's start with the draft packs. All right, getting the commons out the way. Karak Wrangler, start from scratch. Shade Wing Lorate. First rare is a Dragon's Guard Elite. The box topper, right? Yeah. Yep. A regrowth. We got two foils of these um, yesterday or day before. All right. And then a pest token. Over here, acting like I was just on a collector's pack for a second. What's next? Oh, token. Skipping through these commons again. We've got a solve the equation, return pest collar, and master symmetrist, and then a hall of oracles. Not bad. Revitalize one card that's close to my heart because I love angels. Blank flippy card. I don't know why I always do that. It's just because we created the name. Blank flippy card instead of using the Moto, Moto card. The metal double-faced placeholder card. Yeah, see that sounds that sounds lame. Boring. Boring AF guys. All right, come on. Last draft pack. Something hot. Come on. Clever Luminancer. Practical Research. Kelp Guide. And a Callous Blood Mage. He's not too bad. You don't really see him being used. You'd think you would see him in the pest deck. Yeah. Any lemonade, that's pretty sick art. Looks like some lasers went through the head. And a fractal token. Alright, Jose, collector's pack for you. Your first one of today, actually. You got two. Hey, what are they doing out there? Not sure. Sounds like a construction site. Alright, a Eureka moment. Twin Scroll Shaman. Waterfall Aerialist. Exhilarating elocution, elocution, elocution. That's what it's got to be. That was a weird word. I was gonna say like execution. Unwilling ingredient. Show of confidence. Access tunnel. Expanded anatomy. This is a pretty sweet draft card. First foil is a shine shadow snarl. Your Orzov land. Inferno project. Seven drop, trample, enters the battlefield with X plus one counters on it, where X is the total mana value of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. Yeah, he can get pretty big. What? Late. That's huge. And Efreet Flame Painter, we've already gone over this earlier. Found out it's actually not a bad, not that bad of a card. Eliminate, I believe this is the foil S, right? Yeah. And it's got the little foil. Cool. That's what I thought. And Ooh, then... Uh, Cross and Grip. Love Cross and Grip. Looks so good. It does look pretty sweet. I like it a lot. What, is, what does Cross and Grip do? So it has split second, so it can't be countered by spells or abilities as long as it's on the stack, and then it's destroy target artifact or enchantment. Yep. And then another Village Rites. <laughs> Foil this time. Yeah. The Village Rites looks pretty sweet. Yeah, it does. Big, huge eye, and like the claw coming out. Oh, yeah. It's just a great card. Hey, a foil putrefy for your foil rare. Look, from monarch to mulch as quick as could be. That's a cool flavor text. Yeah. That's a really <laughs> cool flavor text. Yeah. Fractal. A hey, Rowan Scholar of Stars emblem. Shiny and beautiful. All right. Stack eight is done. All right, quick glance back through. Bam, bam. That was a pretty decent stack. Moving on to stack nine. Going over to Dylan Martin again for his second stack. Are we 
we're discovering and reading stuff. So these are uh, little smaller breaks. Taking a little bit longer than usual, but hey, we're having fun doing it. All right, skipping through the comments. And I twitch, start from scratch. Rutha Mercurial Artist, and first rare is a multiple choice, which is actually a really solid rare. I love the fact that it's, I love the school puns in this set, it's always great. Yeah, that's, it's super awesome, and it's literally multiple choice. Mm -hmm. Like, I love it. If X is four or more, do all of the above. Psh, okay. And we got an Abundant Harvest right behind it. Choose land or non-land. Reveal a card from the top of your library and to reveal a card of the chosen kind. Put that card into your hand and put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. That card's actually first printing it in here. Really? Yeah, it's being printed for the first uh -huh. time in the non-mystical archive in Modern Horizons 2 when that comes out. Oh, snap. So that's a little preview of that set. Isn't that the, when we looked at it the other day, we only seen like the packs, like the pictures. Mm -hmm. They're already starting to reveal stuff for you? Yeah, so that was like a sneak peek preview of the card. They wanted to put it in there and it's pretty good. Wow. All right, pack number two. Looks like we all learned something today, right? Learned about cards we didn't know about. Set Future set stuff coming out. Grinning Ignis. Access Tunnel. Silver Quill Apprentice. Second Rare. Devastating Mastery. The art just looks sick to it. Yeah, it does. I'm not a big fan of the card itself, but the art's pretty sick. Cultivate looking good. With a Spirit Token. Last draft pack. All right. Get the commons out the way. We got Professor of Symbology, Mentor's Guidance, Quandrix Apprentice. Third draft pack rare is a Verdant Mastery. I love the art to the card. It's just so sick. Looks sweet. And then A, an archive shock right behind it. Nice. Treasure. All right. Dylan, this is your last collector's pack of the day. Let's see. Do we? I feel like we, we're going to come up on a borderless planeswalker here soon. Or another Elder Dragon. Or another Elder Dragon. Or both. Or both. I mean, we can get multiple rares in these packs. So, Pigment Storm, Bio Mathematician, Study Break, Mage Duel. Yo, Study Break's actually a really good card. Yeah, two drop yeah. instant, tap two targets, target creatures with a white or as white. Yeah. That's really good. Hunt for specimens. Got an Umbral Joke to start the uncommons. Quandrix Cultivator. Super good card. And Environmental Sciences. Yo, look at that. That looks good. Foil Body of Research. Man, this card is so sick. So sick. Yeah. Like I said, have Simic Ascendancy out the next turn cast this. Yeah, that's a good way to win a game. Yeah. I, I win. <laughs> Scholarship Sponsor. Whenever you enter the battlefield, each player who controls few, fewer lands than the player who controls the most lands, wow, searches their library for a number of basic lands less than or equal to the difference, puts those onto the battlefield, tapped, and then shuffles. Commander card? It's like a group hug type, feel, type thing. It's like, hey, I'm going to help everybody. Draconic inter Intervention. Sick. Ooh, extended art. Yeah. I bet foil this looks dope. Ooh, an adventurous impulse. Yes. Although I'm a really big fan of the American art of it, but this is still sick. I love that art. Like, they got the skulls, like the snake oh, yeah. bodies and leaves as wings. An Abundant Harvest. Oh, wait, what do we do with that? Abundant Harvest, that's the second one. A Foil Divine Gambit. And then, last but not least. Oh, let me sleeve that, actually. Definitely just said foil. We got the Selfless Glyph Weaver and Deadly Vanity flip card. That looks pretty good. Extended art. It does. The regular art just doesn't really do it much justice. 
And then a fractal token, inkling token. That inkling is so cool looking though. I'll give it that. Looks pretty sweet. Right. Pretty uh pretty good stack right here. Love that. Love that. The foil body of research. It's really good. Abundant harvest and multiple choice. It's a good stack. Good stacky pack. Good packy stack. There we go. Alright, stack ten. And eleven. To Stephen Martin. Alright. Shoop. Dee -doop. Let's get started. Let's get to cracking these mega stacks and the other stacks. Alright. Skipping through your commons. You've got a golden ratio. Karak Wrangler. Shade Wing Laureate. First rare of the day is a Gnarled Professor. Followed by a Crux of Fate in your first pack. So I'd say that's a pretty good start. Pretty good start indeed. I'm going give myself less room. But yeah, pretty sick card. And you got a Rise of Extus. Foil. Blank flip a card. I gotta start. I gotta figure out how to make sound effects, like off, like using the computer. That would be pretty funny. All right, second draft pack. Skipping through the commons. Stone binders familiar. Dina soul steeper. Master symmetrist and an Orique lore mage. Followed by an, ar an archive thrill of possibility and a foil Zephyr Boots. And then a spirit token. Moving on. The Zephyr Boots is pretty sweet foil though. Alright. Commons out the way. Hey, look, starting off with some more Zephyr Boots. Lore Hold Apprentice, Team Pennant, and a Semester's End. We all loved it at the time, but miss it now. Snakeskin Veil, and an Elemental Token. Alright. Moving on. Technically now about to be on stack 11. Technically speaking, but we've combined the two stacks. We've got a Tend the Pest, Umbral Juke, Honor Troll, and a Wither Bloom Command. Lower two is pretty sweet. And then an Ephemerate. What a name, right? Exile target creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under your control with Rebound. Yep, I remember this card now. I remember. You remember? Fractal token. Alright. I remember. <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So this is, yeah, technically starting stack 11 right here. Skipping through your comments. You've got a lore hold excavation. Necrotic Fumes, Stonebinder's Familiar, a Mila Crafty Ooh. Companion, and Luca, Wayward Bonder. Such a sweet card. That looks sweet the way they got the tail on fire. Although they gave it like the hyena print on its fur. Yeah. Village Rights and a Pest. That would be like the only thing I would change. All right. Quick moving. All right, moving on. Skip 
skipping through the comments. Hey, looks like we have a rare lesson. Teachings of the Archaics. If an opponent has more cards in hand than you, draw two cards. Draw three cards instead if that opponent, if an opponent has at least four more cards in hand than you. That's a pretty cool card. I like it. Mage Hunter. Overgrown Arc. Rip Apart. And then a Strict Proctor. When a permanent entering the battlefield causes an ability to trigger, counter that ability unless its controller pays two. Ooh. ooh. And then we got the, alt, the Archive Opt. Also a beautiful art. I don't know why I'm grabbing that again. Blood flipping card. <laughs> it's like it's like I just spaz out. It's all good. If you guys get a good laugh out of it, that's cool. All right. First collector's pack. We got a heated debate. Spiteful squad. Burrog befuddler. Excavated Wall, Spined Carrick, and into the Uncommons we have a Detention Vortex, another Zephyr Boots, Spirit Summoning, first rare foil is a Strict Proctor, hang on to you man, first Borderless, Incarnation Technique, 5 drop sorcery with Demonstrate, mill 5 cards and return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Hey, that borderless plard Dean of Chaos. I'm going to flip this around for you guys. Augusta, Dean of Order. Pretty sick. Pretty sick indeed. Revitalize. Ooh, a dark ritual. Yeah, Japanese altar dark ritual. I love it. You see, like, the teeth and stuff of, like, the smoke demons. Then the arm reaching out the wall. That's some crazy stuff in there. Like, if you actually like, look into some of these, they're pretty sweet. Oh, and then a snakeskin veil. There we go. Foil. That thing's pretty. Killed it with this art, man. Ingenious mastery for your borderless foil spot. And then a fractal and Roman scholar of sparks emblem. Last collector's pack for you, Stephen. Last collector's pack. All right, we got a fuming effigy, elemental masterpiece, serpentine, serpentine curve, needle thorn drake. Field Trip, into the Uncommons we have a Symmetry Sage, Quintorious Field Historian, Fractal Summoning, First Foil Rare is a Rushed Rebirth, that's awesome, it's pretty sick, the little shadow or elemental creature up here, looking sick, First Borderless is a Triplicate Titan, 9 Drop 9 Dine, Flying Vigilance and Trample, Whenever it dies, create a 3-3 colorless golem artifact creature token with flying, a 3-3 golem with vigilance, and a 3-3 golem with trample. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let me say worm coil engine, or worm coil engine. Uh, no, it's worm no, coil, worm coil engine, yep. Worm coil engine, just another a little bit bigger. That's pretty sweet, though. Borderless wither bloom command, that's also pretty sweet. Then... Thrill of Possibility. Yes. It's funny, it's a cat. I love it. And Urza's Rage. That's a pretty sweet one. Foil Duress. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Like, it's shiny. It's pretty. Ooh, and then a Foil Sign of Blood. There we go. Sick though. Yeah, it is. Uh, and that was it for that pack with your spirit and Luca Wayward Bonder emblem. So that was it for your two stacks today, Steven.
unless you jump into the next break. But man, what a pile. What a stack. A couple stacks, actually. Mila and Luca. Hey, you got that Luca emblem too. Femorate's sweet in there. Crux of Fate. Pretty solid pulls right there. And last but not least, everybody, we are on to our last stack for this break. All right, stack 12, going out to Jose. All right, last stack, you guys. Let's see. See if we can't get a Lily or a Kazmina. Or Will and Rowan. Yeah, or Will and Rowan, yep. We've gotten Luca. That's the only Planeswalker. That's the only Planeswalker so far. Hey, it is very possible. We got a Wither Bloom Apprentice, Igneous Inspiration, Deadly Brew. First rare of the day here is a Draconic Intervention. We have seen quite a few of these, but hey, that is a okay. And then we have an Archived Infuriate with a Foil Claim the Firstborn. That's pretty sweet. Heck yeah, Fractal Token. I like that pack. I like it. Getting it hot. I'd have been happy to open that one. Oh, yeah. Get these commons out. We got a kelp guide. Or is it kelpie? It might be kelpie guide. We got a flunk. A humiliate. And then our rare is a vine glimmer snarl. We haven't seen much of these, these little dual lands today. Your... Archived Opt, and a Rowan Scholar of Sparks emblem. Is that a prediction? What? Does that mean we might see that Rowan next deck? I mean, it might be. I don't know, you know. I think Richie's feeling it. It's either, it could be here with a collector's pack, you know? All right, skipping through your comments. You've got a Dueling Coach, a Storm Kiln Artist, a closing statement, and the rare is a Quandrix Command. Still a really good card. Followed by Archive Divine Gambit, and a Foil Lorehold Apprentice, and Blink Flippy Card. Alright, you guys. Last collector's pack for the break, right here. Let's crack it. Right. I wonder why I was trying to skip through commons. It's collector's pack. Infused with vitality. Hey, a foil square up. Ageless guardian. Professor of Zumancy. Lash of malice. Fortifying drought. Prismari apprentice. Hey, there we go. Academic probation for your first foil rare. Followed by a culmination of studies. I didn't even notice the red ring around his neck the first time. That's dope. Like, that's sick. Then, a low shield clockwork scholar. I'm almost, con I think I'm convinced that the first borderless card is a commander card. I think it is. I think it is. Clockwork scholar, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to attacking artifact creatures you control. Whenever one or more artifact creatures enters the battlefield under your control, draw, draw a card. This ability triggers only once each turn. In that's actually, that's not bad. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, a borderless body of research. That looks sick. You see, like, the colors going down into the... Oh, wow, it literally goes into... That's really cool. Yeah, that's, that's really sick. Cool. I love that. Ooh, and a revitalize. Gotta love the revitalize. Gain three life and draw a card. At instant speed. Approach of the second sun. What? I love this card. I got pretty beat by it when I first started playing Magic. It's such a sweet card, though. It is a cool card. I remember when it was winning store championships. Wow. Ooh. Infuriate. 
There we go. That thing looks good too. Yeah, yeah. All the red in there. I love the flames. And then for your borderless rare foil, Exponential Growth, which is a really good card. I've told you guys already a couple times. I literally have lost to this card in draft. So, dude top decked it. I was trying to like clear out his hand and make him use all his creatures and whatnot. And he used that and won. So. I lost to it last night. <laughs> a pest, fractal token. Also lost to a pest last night. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, you guys. I appreciate you guys buying in. Remember, be kind to yourselves and one another. Uh, stay safe, wear your mask, practice social distancing. And, uh, yeah. Remember, we get to start slinging spells at the end of the month. So until next time, peace out, you guys.